this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's wonderful world! <laughs> I sound like um, I'm a ringmaster at a circus or something. I don't sound like I'm introducing a gaming video on YouTube. I sound like I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the circus where we have tigers and trapeze artists and clowns. But no, we just have a, our little 2D world and all of our bricks, don't we? <laughs> oh, well, it is still exciting, though, because I am still uh, very happy and giddy uh, because uh, I have these. I have my little uh, animals in the uh, the terrariums, they were called, weren't they? Is that right? A uh, terrarium. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I've been trapping all of my animals. No, I haven't been trapping them. I've been... Uh, what's a nicer way to word it? Saving them from the dangerous outdoors. I've been rescuing them all. <laughs> but there is one uh, critter uh, that has been continually escaping me, and uh, that is the uh, the penguin. So every now and then, uh, you're going to see me running over to my little ice area where I sometimes get penguins and uh, having a, a little look. But so far, I've not been uh, not been lucky. Actually, how much snow do I have? Um... Let me see if I can find the uh, the snow. It's been, uh, uh, as you know, a little while since the, the last episode. And I've been hearing you, by the way. I know a lot of you have been commenting and uh, saying that I've not been uh, uploading uh, Terraria enough. And uh, I agree. I agree. I'm going to go and uh, try and do Terraria a little bit more uh, um, regularly uh, is the uh, the plan. Um, but, uh, yeah, I struggle with this game a little bit. I'll be honest. I'll hold my hands up. Um, yep. I mean, I know a lot of you commented. I'm not the, uh, I'm not the best. The problem is, is I have been trying for a really long time to do as much of the uh, the game uh, without looking up any of the uh, the guides. I kind of just wanted to discover things in the game and then I realized that that's just kind of not really possible. The game uh, isn't really built to be played by just playing. You kind of have to either speak to people or look online uh, to, to find everything out and uh, your comments have also been uh, really helping me uh, out as well. So please uh, don't stop helping me <laughs> in the uh, the comments. All right then, uh, what I want to do then is I want to build uh, a home uh, for all of my animal friends. So I got my uh, my squirrel here, and then I got my uh, the blue bird, whatever that one's called as well. Uh, so let's go and get that the blue jay. And uh, is there any more animals around here? I don't think so. So I've come up with uh, an idea uh, for a, a cool place to to keep them. So I thought rather than uh, have them in my house, I think they need their own home or their own island. Ah, huh? ah. Huh? So uh, basically, if you look up here. I have this island, which is just kind of sitting there unused for now. And I thought, how about I make that the home for all of the animals? And I can call it my animal island. Uh, well, not my animal island, but just the animal island. And oh, here we go. There's another one here. Oh, there's a canary. Have I got one? Oh, yeah, I do have a canary already. <laughs> I got a bit excited there. So if I do see any more animals, I will try and uh, and catch them. I kind of got a lot of the uh, the squirrels and things, though, so they don't uh, matter too much. Let me just have one more uh, quick check to see if there's a squirrel here. And oh, uh, no squirrels seem to be about. As what I might do uh, is when I get to the the island, is I might just go and spread out snow everywhere, and then hopefully at some point we we'll get a, a penguin spawning would be uh, really uh, nice and uh, and handy and uh, make things uh, easier. I think that if you just spread out enough snow, uh, they can just spawn. Actually, I got the uh, the biome boxes, don't I? Let's have a, a quick look in here. It looks very nice and festive, doesn't it? <laughs> it's kind of the uh, the wrong time of year. It's quite hot right now, but um, let's go and uh, have a, a quick check just to see any. Nope, nope, no penguins in there. Okay, no worries. Uh, moving on up, just like we go. And actually, there's nothing in the desert either, is there? Is anything in the desert biome? No, nope, there's just a, a cactus chair I can see down there. <laughs> Wouldn't be very comfortable. All right, then, let's go and uh, head over to this island. It should be right about here somewhere. There we go. And that was a, a nice smooth landing. And it seems to be nicely uh, lit up already as well. So uh, let's go and just put some snow down then, shall we? So the idea is, is we're going to have uh, an area for all of the, the birds. And I think what better than to, to have a, a tree? And actually, I need some acorns. If I'm going to have a tree, I want to grow some trees, but I need uh, some acorns. Are there any trees down here? You can see that my world is getting completely taken over by the corruption now. There's a tiny bit down the end there, but that's going to go. But luckily, uh, this whole bit here is safe. But I don't actually think uh, that there are any trees growing. And I want to kind of get one planted now uh, so it can be growing through throughout the video. So let's go and uh, very quickly head home and I can go and grab some, uh, some acorns. 
uh, from uh, a chest in here. And then I should have uh, everything else that I need uh, to go and build their, their home. So the, the plan is, is I'm going to have trees for the birds, obviously. So I'm just going to grow a real tree and uh, just have that growing. And then I'm just going to do uh, just wooden planks coming off the uh, the side uh, to look like branches. Uh, so we can put the uh, the birds uh, on top of there. And then I guess for the, the rabbits, I could have a, I could have like a, a rabbit hutch, uh, I guess, uh, for the uh, the rabbits. That could be quite cool. And then I'm going to have a, a snowy place for the, the penguins, maybe build a little igloo or something. <laughs> could be uh, quite cool. And then what else do we have? Oh, and squirrels. Okay, I did a little bit of research to check this, uh, just to see uh, where squirrels live. And some of them live in trees, but I thought that because the uh, the birds are in trees, I kind of want to put the, the squirrels somewhere else. Uh, so I found out that other squirrels uh, live in burrows under the, the ground. So I could have like a little burrow uh, under the, the ground, and then that is where I can go put the squirrels in. Oh no, don't start this. Don't, no, you cut it out. I'm not, I don't want to fight you. Leave me, no, don't. Don't, don't even start. Don't even start. Oh, <laughs> right. Looks like I'm in a, a little bit of trouble here. If I just go down to the ground, is it going to... No, nope, it doesn't care. It doesn't care. Right, this is, um... This is problematic. That is the, uh, one of the, the downsides of uh, Animal Island is that, yeah, we might get attacked every now and then. <laughs> Maybe I should go back and see if I can get any... Whoop, can I survive? Just about. Is it still going to be going after me, though? Uh, maybe I should go and grab some, uh, some potions. Oh no! He's got- oh. Brilliant. <laughs> right, hopefully he's gonna get bored of me now. Now that- now that he's taking me out, uh, hopefully he's not gonna be so interested in me. And I can just go about my business. I was gonna see if there's any more potions. I don't have any more, uh, healing potions, so they would be quite handy. These are some normal healing potions, uh, but I really need, uh, some greater healing potions would be, uh, would be better. And, uh, I think you make them- I think you need, uh, is it pixie dust? I think you need, uh, to- to make them. And uh, let's go and have a, a quick see, and, uh, see if we can make some- some more potions. Otherwise, I don't think I'm gonna have much chance surviving out there. Some visibility, uh, mana, gills, swiftness, regeneration, uh, mana, healing potion, healing potion, greater healing potion. Yeah, so I need water, pixie dust, and crystal shards. Okay, I should hopefully have all of that in here. So uh, here's the uh, the pixie dust, and uh, there's some crystal uh, shards here as well, so I can go and uh, grab some of them. And of course, bottles of water are everywhere, so let's go and uh, grab some of these as well. And uh, now I can at least go and make some some more healing potions. Uh, so if they do keep coming after me, I can at least get uh, easily get healed up. So uh, let's just go and uh, empty my pockets because they're getting very filled up already, <laughs> as uh, so often happens in uh, Interaria. And uh, yeah, let's go and actually try and do some proper work uh, on the, um, on Animal Island then, shall we? So, uh, is there anything else I want to put away? There's some bottles of water I don't need, and I'm just gonna go and throw these feathers in here for now, because I don't need, uh, them either. So let's go and put them there. And actually, I'm not sure if, say if I did a burrow, and I just threw the, uh, the squirrels in, and they, would they stay there? I don't know whether they would stay there or whether they would despawn, because if they just stayed there, don't think that would be even cooler. I know the birds would get away, uh, unless I kind of blocked them off somehow. I just don't know, like, if you walk away, uh, whether they're going to escape or whether they're just going to stay there the, the whole time. What would be really cool is if I could kind of just, you know, put the, uh, the, um, the rabbits and stuff, like, in the hutch and then just leave them. Uh, and then that way, uh, I kind of just don't need to worry about having them in the, the cages, and then they would just stay there. I have a feeling uh, that that uh, is not going to, to work, though. So uh, let's go and uh, take out some of these harpies, and uh, then we can go and just try and destroy uh, some of this background here. Hopefully, uh, once it gets to, to daytime, uh, we're going to just not be uh, attacked so much, and I can go and just try and get on with building, because <laughs> I've been doing this for almost 10 minutes now, and I've got literally nothing done. I've come up with an idea, though. I've come up with a, a plan, so I might do a, a test of my... Uh, my idea and uh, see whether that works. But first, uh, let's go and uh, start some trees growing, shall we? Let's go and uh, grab these uh, these acorns. And luckily, the uh, the harpies aren't too strong, so I don't need to worry about them too much. Uh, it's mainly the the wyverns. Let's go. This can be where the the birds are. I do one there, one there, and maybe one here. I have three trees, and hopefully, if I just leave them, uh, they're going to end up growing really, really tall. And uh, then that way, I can have uh, all different types of birds uh, along the uh, the whole way up. So I'm just getting rid of some of the the background. You can see there's a load of 
uh, this dirt wall and it just looks a little bit ugly so I'm just doing a, a little bit of a spring cleaning for now and getting rid of some of this dirt and uh, then I'm gonna go and spread down the the snow I think I'll do the uh, the snow on uh, the uh, the far right of the the island here and if we're lucky uh, it's going to be counted as a, a snow biome and uh, we might even get a, a few penguins uh, spawning in right up here and then uh, we can go and try and uh, catch them and uh, put them in the uh, terrarium so uh, i think i'm going to do snow from uh, about uh here maybe and then that room in the middle uh, is where i can put down the uh, the burrow uh, as well as the uh, the hutch for the uh, the rabbits as well so let's go and uh, break this uh, along here and uh, then throw down my snow and uh, have fingers crossed uh, that we're going to have a, a penguin uh, showing up at some point so let's keep breaking this away and if i go and grab my snow i can just go uh, along the uh, the whole bit at the uh, the top here and i don't know really how things spawn in i think the chances of a, a penguin spawning in while i'm standing here uh, is pretty slim uh, but i don't know i think if i if i go away and then come back uh, there's a good chance that there will be one in and i'm kind of just uh, ignoring the harpies but now oh no i can't ignore this though i can't ignore the the wyvern <laughs> right it's not a, an arch one i actually uh, probably have a, a chance of being able to to take this one out what i think i need to do is uh, try and grab my nimbus rod oh i got my nimbus rod here already right if i go up here and uh, put down a few of these and then try and keep it in this area here I might have a better chance of being able to, to take it out. That's hopefully uh, doing uh, some pretty good damage, but uh, I don't know how much damage the arrows are doing. But the uh, yeah, the, the rain uh, should be taking it out. There we go. <laughs> I was able to, to take it out. Any um uh, any souls of flight anywhere around here? It should have dropped some somewhere. Oh, look, they're right down here under the, the ground. Let's just go and uh, dig down and I can go and grab these. And, oh, no, I think I destroyed one of my acorns, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. We can go and uh, plant that down again. And look, my pockets are once again filled up. What I could do is I uh, just place down uh, some of my animals uh, just for for now, uh, just to kind of empty my my pockets a little bit. I got my <laughs> my pockets full up with full of all sorts of different types of uh, of animals. So uh, let's go and uh, try and fill in uh, this dirt. And at least I know kind of the the best way to take out the the wyverns now if uh, if they keep showing up. And I can go now and uh, try and plant down my acorns again. Uh, so I can go and leave that growing. And uh, let's try and uh, let's try and build the uh, the hutch first, then, shall we? I think that would be a good place to to start uh, if I place the the acorn down here. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to get rid of some of this um uh, this silver ore, and then instead I'm going to put down some dirt because uh, this is where eventually the uh, the burrow is going to be somewhere around here. And uh, yeah, then I can go and start doing the the hut. So I guess it would just be like a kind of like a little wooden hut. And uh, then I'm going to do maybe some fences as well next to it as kind of like an outside area. And uh, I'm thinking that I am not going to be able to, to set it uh, loose so it just wanders around. Uh, but I might just give it a test to go. No, don't show up again. All right, let's go get the uh, the old uh, Nimbus uh, rod out again and uh, put some of these clouds up here. And it should kind of pretty much just take itself out. I don't really think I even really need to attack it. As long as it's just going under the, the rain, uh, it should just sort of uh, take itself out uh, anyways. Uh, kind of the, the plan. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you can see it's getting really hurt. And oh, looks like there's there's real rain coming in as well. And uh, <laughs> and uh, doing, um, uh, yeah, just making a bunch of noise, to be honest. Right, let's go and see if we can finish taking it out. I want to be careful here. Let's have a, a bit of a, a healing potion. There we go. I was able to, to take it out. I'm getting a, a whole load of uh, souls of flight at the, the same time here. It's uh, a lot more dangerous up here than I expected it to be. I kind of wanted this to be a nice haven away from <laughs> everything else uh, for my animals to live. But they've just been continually attacked by harpies and wyverns. And now it's rainy and horrible. But it's okay. I'm going to make this place uh, look pretty. So let's go now and uh, start building the... Uh, the hutch then shall we so i do have uh, a bunch of uh, of wood here uh, which i've uh, already gathered uh, so let's go and grab that and uh, start building the uh, the old hutch so uh, i guess i'll do it right about here on the edge of where the uh, the snow is and i'll go along like this i guess it'll be a little bit like the uh, the dog house maybe and uh i think i'm only gonna have one rabbit on the the inside and one on the the outside so this should be big enough and it'd be good if there's a uh, I guess, uh, I guess I don't really need to be able to walk into it. So uh, once uh, I finish building it, I can kind of block the uh, the whole thing off. So uh, I do have a rabbit on me, I think. Do I have a, I have a rabbit, but I don't think I've put it into one of the um uh, one of the uh, the cages yet. So I guess I'll just hold on to to that for now. And I need to go and do wood uh, along the uh, the floor here as well, like this. 
and then I can go and uh, place that down. And I also, of course, need uh, to make some wooden walls uh, for the uh, the background. Because at the moment, it's kind of like a see-through hut. And oh, looks like I've accidentally caught a bird. <laughs> Sadly, that is in the, the wrong place. It looks like I accidentally caught a bird down there. Uh, right then, let's go and um, what I might do is I might try and just make uh, a chest. And then I can just try and store some of this stuff in. Because my inventory is getting so filled up, it's kind of uh, hard to, to do anything. I also want to uh, light up the uh, the area uh, as much as I can as well. Hopefully, it's going to, to start being a uh, day soon would be uh, mighty handy. I don't know if there's anything you can do uh, to stop it raining. I don't know if there's any magic spells or anything you can use uh, to make it stop raining. Because if you could, uh, that would be absolutely amazing. But anyway, uh, let's go and uh, make uh, a little chest uh, so I can go and put that on. Actually, no, I don't think I can. I don't think I've got iron on me. Uh, so I don't think I can make a chest. I'm just going to have to struggle my way through. So <laughs> uh, what I can do is I can make a, uh, a workbench and uh, I'm going to have to go and drop something for now. Let's go and drop these uh, these pumpkins maybe. Uh, is it going to let me drop the pumpkins? It doesn't seem to be letting me drop them. Let me just go and trash some things that I don't really need. I don't really need these stars for now and uh, I could just place the uh, the bed down would be a, a good way of, uh, of getting rid of that. And I'm getting totally destroyed by all of these harpies here. I guess I'll just place down the, the bed here in the uh, uh, the the snowy area. And I'm actually set my spawn to here. So then that way, uh, if I do get taken out... Oh no, it needs to be in a house, doesn't it? Okay, yeah, let's not worry about that. Uh, so yeah, I've got my uh, little workbench here. Uh, so I can go and place that down. And I'm going to go and make myself some uh, some wooden walls uh, for the uh, the background of the uh, of the, the hutch. So uh, let's go and uh, try and find wooden walls while I uh, try and ignore all of the, the damage the, uh, the harpies are going to be doing against me. And oh, I can go and put the uh, the rabbit in. There we go. I can put the uh, the rabbit in the uh, the terrarium. And uh, let's go and find uh, these walls. I uh, know they're just the bricks. These are the the walls here. So let's see if we can just find the the normal wooden ones. Uh, can you see them anywhere? Uh, there we go. Uh, let's just go and make uh, some of these. I don't need uh, too many because uh, obviously the uh, the hutch is going to to be quite small. And then after this, I can go and make some of the uh, the wooden fences uh, to put on the uh, the outside as well. And I think that's going to look pretty cool. I might I uh, just go and put some of these clouds just kind of over here. Then if I just sort of stand under them. Uh, everyone's going to be kind of just taken out anyway. There we go. <laughs> that proved to be uh, pretty effective. Uh, so let's go and uh, grab these walls. And uh, we can go now and uh, start filling in the uh, the background like this. Uh, if I try and fill the uh, the entire place up. And I've gone over a little bit, but it's okay. I can go and get rid of this. And this should hopefully uh, be just uh, enough walls uh, to go and uh, fill the uh, the entire things in. It seems like uh, it's pretty much just about perfect. So let's try and uh, get rid of the, the bits where I uh, overlapped a little bit. If I kind of go along here like this and then... Oh, nope, I accidentally... Oh, I think I changed it. I think I, I changed... Yeah, you can see you can change the uh, the shapes of the, the walls. Uh, there we go. That looks uh, a little bit better now. And then I missed uh, a bit at the uh, the front uh, as well like this. Right, uh, let's go and put the uh, the rabbit in the, uh, the hutch then. <laughs> I think this works quite well. I'm going to go and fill the, uh, the front in like this. And I'm also going to do like a, a design on the, uh, the top uh, just to make it look a little bit nicer. If I kind of just build along like... Um, like this. And look, I've trapped another bird in. <laughs> I've trapped another little bird in the, the hut. This might be a good test. Uh, we can try and see uh, whether the uh, the bird stays there or not. We can see uh, whether if I go away and come back, uh, whether the uh, the bird disappears or not. This might be a, a little good uh, test. So uh, what I'm going to go and do now is... Uh, oh, did I get a, a, me a mechanical skull then? Okay, looks like someone just dropped a mechanical skull. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make some of these. I'm going to make some uh, some wooden fences, and I can go and place these uh, on the uh, the outside. So let me go and uh, grab some of these, and I can place these uh, along here uh, as kind of like uh, the outdoor area of the uh, the hut. And then hopefully, if I can get a uh, another rabbit. I can place it in here as if it's on the, the outside. I think that looks quite nice. <laughs> I think that's a, quite a nice little cute uh, rabbit hutch. I'm going to. And oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, it picks the, the fences up. Okay, what I'm trying to do is uh, get rid of the uh, the background wall, uh, which is kind of overlapping. But I'm kind of just destroying everything. Let's go and uh, try and make it so this all lines up. Actually, I might do this to make it so that the, uh, the, uh, the roof looks slanted. I think that might uh, look quite cool. So let's get that fixed. So if I go to these corners and do it like that. And then you can see I got a, a proper a little rabbit hutch. That looks quite cool, actually. I like the look of this. Uh, let's go and do it uh, down this side as well uh, so it all links up. And there 
there we go. That looks quite cute, doesn't it? <laughs> and look at the, the rabbit in there. I think the rabbit's happy because it's the only thing on this island uh, which is actually dry right now. So let me go and uh, keep uh, uh, making this right because I keep mucking up. Oh, no, I mucked up the, the wrong side again. It's all a little bit fiddly. Everything's quite small in this game and you've got to be very exact with it. And sometimes uh, it can be a little bit awkward uh, because some of the, uh, the tools do more than one thing. And oh, no, I keep completely mucking it up. I will get this. All right, let's go from the bottom up and just make it uh, so it's all correct. Is that right? Nope, that is definitely not right. That's not right either. There we go. And then there we go. Uh, all I need to do is just this top block there. There we go. Right, I'm not going to use the hammer again nearby, otherwise it's going to get ruined. And you know what? It's looking quite good. The uh, the bird has stayed in there for a while, but oh no, this means trouble. This means trouble. Right, let's go and uh, put a few of these clouds here and uh, just see if I can stay alive. So rather than fighting it, I'm mainly just going to try dodging it and uh, stay near the uh, the clouds. I know I need to get it to come down lower. It needs to be uh, underneath where the, the rain is. It's kind of hard to see where <laughs> where my rain is because there's rain uh, all over the, the place here. And all oh, that will hurt me. That hurt me. All right, let's try and stay uh, a little bit lower uh, so it goes under these clouds. And I basically want it to hurt itself. It's so effective uh, because they're so long. Like, they're getting hurt constant, like constantly. Like, whatever part of their, their body uh, is underneath uh, means it's getting hurt. And did I, did I get it? I think I might have uh, I might have taken it out. It doesn't seem to be uh, around here anymore anyway. So there we go. I don't know where it dropped all of its loot, uh, but I was able to, to take it out. And that's really what matters. Sadly, though, uh, none of the uh, the trees have started to, to grow. And uh, we haven't had uh, any penguins yet either. So what I might do is uh, quickly head back to the, the house uh, just to see if there are any penguins uh, over in uh, that area down here. Uh, to see if I could uh, catch any uh, quickly before the uh, the end of the, the episode. Any, any penguins? down here that want to, to come and say hello? Any penguins? Please, I really want to catch a penguin if you can't tell, but nope, sadly no penguins down here, but maybe uh, they might uh, go and start spawning uh, on the, uh, the top of, uh, of Animal Island. So uh, we have just about uh, run out of time in this episode, and I know, I know I made pretty awful progress. <laughs> I was kind of bullied though, I was sort of bullied uh, by all of the um, uh, all of the uh, the googlies that were attacking me up there it certainly uh, makes it a lot harder to to build but i think using the uh, the uh, the nimbus clouds uh, certainly is making it a lot easier so in the the next episode uh, i'm going to head up here and hopefully uh, some of the uh, the trees would have grown by then and uh, if not uh, we can at least go and do the uh, the burrows for the uh, the squirrels uh, underneath as well and uh, hopefully at some point get some penguins and if we don't get any penguins i can build the uh, the igloo ready for them uh, when they uh, they do arrive so uh, as always i'll be leaving a, a link in the uh, description to the the next episode uh, once that's online and oh i've just noticed the bird has disappeared so it looks like uh, sadly they are all going to have to to be in cages so yeah link in the description to the the next episode once it's online uh, but for now i want to thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all later bye This is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. And look, there's a spider jumping around my world. It's going into my old little cave home, isn't it? Right, let's see if I can take out the, the evil googly, shall I? Oh, it's jumping, it's jumping to try and dodge me, and there we go. <laughs> I was able to, to take out the, the evil, uh, evil googly. All right then. Uh, in this uh, episode, I'm going to be joined by Lee Bear. Of course I am. Good morning, Lee Bear. And oh, wait there, one second. Wait one second. If I just go and run around for a little bit and get myself a little bit hungrier. <laughs> keep running, keep running and jumping, running and jumping, running and jumping. There we go. I am now hungry enough to eat an entire cake in one go. I always feel like, I don't know, it's always sad when you have to walk out of a room and leave just one slice on the, the floor. I feel like I haven't completed my morning duties. <laughs> right then, Lee Bear, would you like to, to pass me my breakfast and then I can. Nom, 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 nom. Ah, absolutely delicious. Right then, uh, off to the uh, the love garden then. I'm sure that if you've seen one of my lovely world videos before, you know how the beginning of the episode's gonna start because it's always uh, pretty much the exact same way. Well, it's almost the same way. We always go to the love garden, but I'm always adding someone new and for a different reason. So it's still exciting. And uh, today I am adding Jasper. And that's because he sent me a picture of a homemade stampy cat onesie. And don't you think it looks really cozy and really cool as well. And it was made by his uh, grandma uh, called Leslie. 
and I think it looks so fantastic. I wanted to say uh, thank you for sending me the picture and welcome to my love garden. Right, we're not going to waste any time today, Lee Bear, uh, because we have some building to do. The uh, aim of the uh, the day is to try and completely finish uh, my pig pong game, and uh, we actually uh, got quite a lot of it uh, done in the the last episode. There's not a a huge amount uh, left for us to to do, to be honest. So uh, hopefully we can get it done and uh, then have a little game uh, just testing it out. And uh, we're going to be doing that while being joined by Flippy, I think, today. And where's Flippy? Are you up here? Is this you in the corner? It is you in the corner. Come on, Flippy. Uh, you can come and uh, join us as we go now and head over to the uh, uh, to the fun land. And so just in case you uh, didn't see the uh, the last episode, uh, basically uh, the, the pig pong game is uh, it's, it's like pong. It's like normal pong if you've ever played that. Uh, but instead of um, uh, normal pong, we're using pigs uh, instead of the, uh, the normal paddles. So uh, basically you're going to be in a pig, well on a pig, which is in a minecart and uh, moving it back and forth on a, a minecart track. And uh, you're going to be doing that to try and block another minecart, which is going to be knocked by the other player or by yourself uh, onto to your side. And so that's uh, how it works. Um, it's uh, it's relatively simple in concept, uh, but the the part we're doing today uh, is the uh, is the uh, the clever part. Let's call it that way. Uh, it's basically the thing that is going to randomise the uh, the direction uh, that the the mine cart is going to to go in. And we're also uh, going to add in uh, some note blocks as well, so that when you go up and down on the the pig, uh, instead of just going up and down, it's going to go like bring and make some uh, nice little uh, noises as you go back and forth. What I wanted to have happen. Uh, was uh, that every time you hit it, it would make a ding noise as you hit it. Uh, but I don't think I would uh, be able to, to make that work, or at least I couldn't work out <laughs> uh, how to, to make that work. So that's what, uh, yeah, this is kind of the, the thing that I've settled with, and I think it would still be quite cool. So here we go. Uh, this is uh, what we built in the, the last episode. Uh, here's the uh, the main arena. Uh, so I think the, the first thing to do is to go and add the uh, the note block. So if I do this side here, Lee, and if you go and do uh, that side uh, down there, uh, so we just need a, a row of, uh, of a, uh, note... Uh, blocks along uh, along here and they're going to get set off by these uh, detector rails so uh, I think I'll do I do every other one uh, can be uh, one of these uh, detector rails uh, and then that way uh, underneath all I need to do is add a, a little mine uh, redstone track uh, to a note block and then that's all we need uh, to set it off and then we can just change uh, the uh, the pitch of the the note blocks uh, so they can uh, uh, sound different and hello flippy <laughs> I haven't seen you for a little while all right then let's go underneath here and I just need uh, to dig out a little bit of an area uh, so then I have a, a place to, to place down my note blocks and then once I've done this uh, we're going to go to the the middle and uh, add the randomizer and oh Found a little cave. There's a little cave down here. <laughs> a very, a very small cave, but it's always, it's always interesting when you dig down and find like old rooms that you haven't been to in ages or, or something. I always find that very exciting. So let's go and uh, dig out a little area around here, and uh, then I have some room. And oh, hello, Lee Bear. Thank you for for lighting up my little cave down here. <laughs> are you, are you okay? Are, are, are you all right? What, what, what's wrong, Lee Bear? Oh, yeah, I, I forgot you cut off. Oh, you need redstone. You don't have any redstone. Uh, or you need more redstone. Uh, no, you need uh, dete uh, detector rails. You need detector rails. There we go. <laughs> Me and Lee Bear often play charades. You need one, two, three, four, five, and six. There you go, Lee Bear. Uh, you can go and use them. And so he can go and uh, do his size. And then hopefully uh, they're both going to be uh, finished off. And then, as I said, I'm going to head to the, the middle and uh, and do that side as well. So let's go and uh, break away all of this area here. Uh, I need to dig uh, a little bit higher just so I can see what I need to see. I actually think I, this is the trail here, isn't it? This is the uh, the trail, this white wall. Uh, this is the uh, the main place I, I need uh, to dig around. Then I just need to dig slightly in this direction uh, to, to make a, a little cave here, uh, which is where I can add my uh, note blocks. Uh, the reason I can't just place uh, the note blocks right underneath the detector rails is because there needs to be an open block uh, above the uh, the detector rail. Uh, otherwise, the uh, the note block doesn't sound, and also the block that the the note block on uh, determines which instrument it's going to be. So I think if I do it on dirt, I think that will be a, a nice kind of piano sound. So I can use the the dirt I've gathered, and I can do that. So uh, is that the final one on this side? I think it is. So uh, let's put a torch down so I can see what I'm doing, and uh, let's go and place down these note blocks. So I think I need one here, here, here here and then if I just build along here a little bit I think I need one there as well there we go if that seems to work out that's uh, six blocks and uh, I'm going to fill in the the ground a little bit here as well uh, just so I have a, a place to do the the note blocks and I should also make the note blocks so let's go and uh, make a little crafting table uh, to place down here and all you need uh, to make note blocks is wood and redstone so this should be uh, very easy to to make six of these one two three four 
Oh, no, not yet. Uh, let me go and make some more blocks, and then we can do five, six. There we go, six note blocks. So if I go and uh, place these along uh, this row here, like this, uh, then I just need to add the, the trail. Oh, actually, I wanted to add dirt underneath. I don't know uh, what sound uh, the, the sand's going to, to do. Yeah, that, that made a, a kind of a drum sound. So let's make sure uh, that we got dirt underneath all of them and uh, go and place them uh, along here uh, like this. And then all I need to do is add a, a trail of redstone uh, that's going to go down like this into the, the note blocks. And then basically, whenever the, the minecart track uh, goes over the, the detector rail, it's going to set off the, the note blocks. So let's go and have a little bit of a, a play around uh, with the the pitch then so this one can be uh, the lowest one and then we're going to make these gradually go higher so let's go one two three four five six uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. There we go. So these are going to gradually go higher. I realise that uh, a lot of them made the um. Uh, the drum sound. Ah, these that one's still on sand, and ah, so's this one here. These ones uh, need uh, to have dirt under underneath them, uh, so then that way. Uh, they're going to be the, the right sound, and all those ones are. So there we go. Uh, that's this bit done. I'm going to be good, and I'm going to pick up my crafting table so I can use that a little bit later on. <laughs> and uh, now let's try and do the, the randomizer bit. Well, actually, let's test what we've done. Let's see uh, if this uh, actually works, uh, because that would be good. And I also need uh, to try and block up this area here. Flippy, do you want to get out? Let me let me break a, a block here, Flippy. Then you can come and uh, and jump out, and then uh, we can go and, um, uh, yeah, go and uh, fill the, all of this in. Looks like you teleported anyway. <laughs> I guess there was no need for me to do that. All right, let's Let's go and uh, ride back and forth and uh, see how this is sounding then. So if I get in the pig and push like this, can you hear that? It goes do 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 There you go. So as you go back and forth, it's going to be playing some beautiful music. <laughs> and uh, the next bit is going to be ease <clears throat> a little bit easier. Uh, because I've already dug out this area. You see in the, the very middle here, uh, I've already dug it out. Uh, so I have room to do the, the redstone. But first, uh, at the, uh, the top... Uh, I need to go and uh, add in uh, some power rails. So uh, basically, uh, there's not going to be enough power uh, for it to bounce by itself. Uh, so I need some power rails here going one, uh, two, three, four, uh, five like this. Uh, so basically... Uh, it's going to get hit by the, the power rails, well, it's going to go over the power rails, then it's going to get sped up into the, the minecart, and then, uh, assuming that you've got in the, the right place, uh, sped right back to the, the very middle. So I should probably go and uh, add uh, all of these uh, in now. And then there's also going to be a load in the, the middle, because if there's not, uh, if it uh, ends up spinning around in the middle for a long time, uh, it might lose momentum and then just stop altogether, and that wouldn't be uh, very handy whatsoever. So in a minute, in a minute, I can go back down and add some uh, levers under the, the ground uh, to, to light these up uh, but for now I'm just going to go and add in a, a whole load of power rails here so they're going to be on uh, all of the the straight stretchers so all of the bits uh, where the uh, the mine car isn't going to be turning or sorry the track isn't going to be turning uh, there's going to be power rails so there's going to be them there there uh, here uh, here and here and I can hear Lee Bear <laughs> working out his music down there and so then also these uh, little bits down here these bits aren't going to turn and uh, also across the uh, the middle all of these ones are going to be power rails, and then also uh, along here as well. These ones are all going to be power rails, uh, just to make sure that the uh, the minecart's always powerful enough uh, to get to the the other side, uh, and yeah, not uh, just stop randomly moving in the middle because that wouldn't be much fun. Like it was uh, quite uh, difficult to balance it uh, to make sure that the uh, the minecart goes quick enough uh, so that it doesn't stop, uh, but not too quick so that it's impossible uh, to be able to to react uh, so we can go and make it bounce back. So there should be uh, all of the the middle ready on the uh, the top here. Uh, so now we're gonna go down and I'm going to show you how we can make it uh, all go and get randomized. So if I go and head down here, basically I'm going to place a block at all of the uh, the points uh, where the, the track could switch. So it could switch uh, here, so there needs to be one there and there. And so basically uh, above me uh, are all of the, the places uh, where the track is going to, to be able to, to be switched. And so then if I go and put uh, redstone torches uh, on the top of these blocks, uh, basically the, the track on top of me is going to be uh, switching. So it would have been facing one way, and then it's then going to go and face the, the other way. Uh, so all we need to do is make a mechanism uh, which is going to make it so these redstone torches uh, are continually being switched on and off uh, really quickly. So let's go and uh, place all of these down first, so you obviously can't see, but the uh, the track should have been switching uh, above me. 
And uh, the way we're going to do this is by doing another minecart track, uh, which is actually going to go round, uh, but down here instead. So I'm going to do a little bit of a, a loop uh, around here. I might actually have to, to dig out the, the walls a little bit further here just so I can fit it all in. Uh, but yeah, a minecart track is going to loop around here, and then there's going to be more detector rails. Uh, so as it goes over the, the detector rails, it's going to go and uh, set the uh, the torches uh, to, to switch on and off. And I need to get rid of this ladder as well uh, so I can fit it in. Uh, so this is a really easy way. So it technically is redstone but it's kind of not as well just because uh, rather than doing a trail of redstone uh, you're doing like a little mini roller coaster down here <laughs> and uh, yeah so uh, mine carts go quicker uh, when they have someone or something in them as well so uh, the fact that it's going to be uh, an empty uh, mine cart uh, means that we're going to add, uh, add uh, quite a few power rails as well uh, just to make sure it can keep going around so this is the the little track and so then all we need to do now uh, is add in the uh, the detector rail so if I go and uh, switch these out uh, so I basically want to place them uh, right next to uh, wherever these torches are because eventually uh, we're going to then add in some uh, repeaters that are going to go and be facing uh, into the um uh, into the the redstone torches and i wouldn't normally uh, need to um add a, a repeater there it could have just been redstone uh, but i'm actually going to then jumble up the the uh, uh the repeaters a little bit uh, just to make it a little bit more random uh, so then that way you have no way to to predict uh, which way the the mine cart's going to go and then that way uh, it's going to be uh, uh, even more fun it's going to be completely uh, crazy this game so uh, let's go and uh, add all of these in down here and then i can go and uh, add in all of my repeaters uh, along here like this and then the only other thing i need to add is the the power rails and then of course the uh, the actual mine cart itself uh, so let's go and uh, uh, jumble up some of these a little bit uh, basically switching them to, to delay some I don't need to switch all of them and uh, then this way it should just be uh, completely uh, random so there we go these are kind of jumbled up a little bit and uh, now let's go and uh, add in some uh, some of these power rails so I kind of want to add them uh, evenly uh, around here uh, just to make sure it's kind of going the uh, the same speed uh, the whole way around so I'll do one there then I guess I can do one in the uh, the very middle here and then I can do one on the, the edge along here as well. And then in the, the middle down here as well. And then I can go and light up all of these uh, power elves. And uh, then that way the, the minecart should move at a, a pretty even speed uh, going around the uh, the entire place here. And then of course I also need to, to add some levers uh, to, to light up the uh, the power elves uh, that are above me. Because I placed all of them down uh, but I haven't lit them up. And so I've decided to light them from underneath. Uh, because then that way uh, you're not going to see any of the, the redstone or anything uh, from uh, from above. And uh, here we go. I think uh, this should be be pretty much ready actually I need to to light up the uh, the power rails uh, that are down here as well uh, so let's go and uh, make myself a, a whole load of uh, levers I'm gonna need a, a lot of these things uh, from both places I'm gonna make even more of these uh, just because I got a, a whole load of uh, power rails to, to light up as uh, so if I light up the the ones down here first and uh, then I can get the the minecart spinning and then I can start placing them on the the ceiling as well so if I just place all of these uh, around the outside like this as well I could have also used a, um, a redstone torch as well uh, but I much prefer to, to save my redstone and just used a, a stick and at least a little piece of a cobblestone so there we go these are all lit up as if I go now and uh, place down my crafting table look how good I'm being by the way as well using the same crafting table and taking it with me for once <laughs> so if I go now and uh, make myself a, a mine cart which should be in this section I can go and start this spinning round and uh, you'll see uh, that the torches are continually uh, being lit up and uh, put down. So if I, let's wait for the, the minecart to go. If I go and jump up, oh, hello, Lieber, hello. <laughs> if I go and uh, look around here and uh, have a little look on the, the inside, hopefully uh, everything's switching. You see all these tracks here? Here we go. You see all of these tracks? Uh, they're all continually switching, which uh, is pretty good. It seems to be uh, working, uh, working pretty much perfectly. So we're almost ready uh, to have a test to go, Lee. So I tell you what, if you go and uh, light up all of uh, these, uh, uh, power rails here. I'll go and light up all of the, the ones in the, the middle and then me and Lee can go and have a, a test to go and I can show you exactly uh, how this uh, game is going to work. It's exciting. It's exciting to, to have things uh, almost ready. So uh, all I need to do is uh, make sure I put these levers in the, the right place. And uh, another good reason uh, for adding in these... Um, uh, these uh these um blah, 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 what are they called uh, repeaters that's what they're called <laughs> uh, for adding in them is that if there was redstone there and I put a lever above it uh, the lever would light up the the redstone uh, which would be a, a problem because uh, that would basically uh, make it so that the the torches were always uh, switched off and so that's uh, another good reason so let's just make sure uh, that I put levers in all the right places so basically everywhere where I put a um a power rail above uh, there should be a lever below so is that the more oh no I need it uh, one here as well and I think one here 
and then one here. I think in the, the middle of uh, all of these um, uh, redstone torches, I need one as well. And then I can just go upstairs and uh, make sure that they're definitely uh, all lit up. Actually, I need one here as well. And then between these two, there's one, but I need to place one here and then one here as well. Is that all of them? Uh, it might be. Let's go and check. I think there's a good chance I've probably missed at least one, but let's go and uh, make sure and uh, see if I was uh, able to, to light up uh, all of the um, uh, all of the, the power rails in the, the middle. Are, are they all lit up? Are they all done? Oh, they're all done apart from one. I missed one. Tell you what, I'm going to be lazy for now and I'm just going to go and place that one down here <laughs> because it doesn't matter. And uh, now all I need to do is uh, go and give the... Um uh, the uh, the mine cart a little bit of a, uh, a shove as so then that way it's rolling round and then we can go and uh, begin the the first game so do you want to get in position Lee do you want to get ready for the first game and tell you what as soon as I'm down here I might as well light this one up properly as well so where's the where's the mine cart let's go and give that a little bit of a knock and uh, that's going to go and keep spinning if I go and run very quickly now I should be able to get up there we go <laughs> the mine cart's still going and uh, yeah we can now have the uh, the first ever tester game of ping pong but first I'm going to go and take out these uh, uh these googlies that are loitering we do not want a, a googly audience and uh flippy uh yeah we are going to be going around uh, quite fast and we don't want you jumping in the minecart so maybe you should uh, sit down there for a little bit <laughs> right then uh, let's begin oh actually i need to all right i'm going to be bad now make another crafting table i need to make a uh, another minecart uh, which is going to to be the ball basically and i'm going to show you uh, how we serve so uh, if i go and uh, place this minecart here and then jump on my pig as i go past it uh, it's going to to serve it and send it in lee bear's direction and then he needs to try and block it uh, if it goes to him and try and knock it back to me. But there's always a good chance that it's going to come straight back to, to me anyway. Right, I'm about to serve Lee Bear. Are you ready over there? Give me a wave if you're ready. Uh, yep, he looks ready. Let's go and serve. There we go. I knocked it. And which way is it going? And oh, it came straight back to the middle again. And I lost. <laughs> See what I mean? There's as much chance of it coming back to you uh, as there is it going to the, the other person. So you always have to, to be ready. Right, I'm going to serve again now, Lee Bear. I need to go and slide past it and it's off where's it gonna go this time oh it came back to me but to this side oh, i was able to knock it again though right where's it gonna go now it's gone to lee and lee wasn't able to to save it there we go you probably got a good idea <laughs> of how the the game works right lee uh, do you want to, to have a go serving now and so if you just place it on uh, one of the uh, the tracks and then just slide past it, uh, you should knock it uh, coming down my direction. But as I said, be careful for it to go straight back to you because that can happen. Oh, and it did, but he was there ready. And it looks like there's a slime as well. Oh, can I block it? No, I was too slow. It's always uh, much harder uh, to get it when it's going to the, the very middle because uh, on the, the edges, you can kind of just stay against the wall. Uh, but when it's going to the, the middle, you have to get the, the timing perfect. <laughs> right then, let's have another go. I'm enjoying this. All right, let's place it in the middle and I'm going to go and serve. I'm sending it your way, Lee. Where's it going to go? Oh, it's going down here. Can I block it in time? There we go. I was just about able to, to block it. And it's gone to Lee. And he wasn't able to block it. <laughs> oh, this is a, quite a close game. Tell you what. We're gonna do. We're gonna do a best of three from now, Lee. So basically, uh, first person uh, to to score two points uh, will be the the winner. And it's much easier to to use a sword uh, to destroy the uh, the um uh, the the minecart if you're having uh, trouble as well. Uh, looks like he's just putting his uh, detector rails. It sounds good as well. The uh, uh, the the note blocks that you're sliding up and down sounds good. Oh, but looks like Lee's ready. He's serving again, and oh, it went straight back to him. But luckily, uh, he was in the right place, and it's come straight to me. We haven't had to to move yet. Looks like Lee's guessing where it's gonna go. Oh, but it went back to there. Oh, here we go. This is the, the best rally we've had yet. And it's come straight back down to this side. And straight back down to this side. And Lee Bear was there just about uh, able to block it. And uh, this is where uh, you need to make sure it's completely random. Oh, no, it came straight back to me just as I moved away. I was just about uh, able to, to block it. Where's it going to go now? And it went down to Lee's side. And there we go. That was my point. <laughs> and uh, because we're doing a little best of three, uh, that means that if I get the next point, uh, then I win. Uh, but if Lee Bear gets it, uh, that means we go to a, a tiebreaker. So Lee Bear's going to, to serve. Uh, and always oh, went straight back to him. He was very quick being able to, to block it, though. And oh, it came straight back to me on this side. I haven't had to move in ages here. Oh, straight back to, to me again. Just about uh, able to, to make it. Where's it going to go now, though? And it went down to that side. And yay, I was able to score the point. <laughs> there we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is Pig Pong. Uh, this game is so much fun. So in the next episode, we're going to spend uh, the entire episode playing this game uh, to have ourselves a, uh, a pig pong tournament uh, to see who the pig pong champion is going to be so make sure you check that out uh, there'll be a link in the description to that episode but for now i want to thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all later bye